All right. <clears throat> I've got my custom boring bar in the works here. I've already finished up a good bit of it. I've got this turned down so that it fits in my boring bar holder. Nice and smooth. Good solid, solid fit. You can see there. We got it bored out on the end, and I've got the next piece over here in the lathe. This is going to be inserted into that bore, and then I'm going to set screw through here so that it'll maintain that piece because I didn't want to have to clamp this whole piece upright in my mill and try to mill a groove across because that wouldn't work out in this little rickety mill and plus I'll be able to change out that head I can make another one just cut off another button that has a bore and I can put different tools on it and still have a nice long boring bar pretty rigid boring bar and I'm going to be using all uh, high speed tools I'm going to be using a quarter inch tool bit and uh, it's going to be put with some set screws I got some <clears throat> set screws from McMaster some little quarter twenties I haven't even opened them up and looked at them yet Some nice little quarter 20 set screws with the dog point so I'm gonna get mounted up on a tripod I took I've been taking big cuts off of this coal roll because I don't feel like babying it forever so I got some pretty big chips on here and it it was really hot whenever I was done with it Let's see if I can refocus again it was real hot and I didn't want to take a finish pass while it was so hot so it's been cooling out here for a couple days and I got my fine high speed bit so I'm about to take that down to the right diameter so I'm going to get mounted up on a tripod and get going with that get my tool squared up Alright, the bore I'm going into is 0.802 and I'm at 0 .8, 0 0.888. Alright, so I'm going to take a couple of ten thousandths passes and get this reduced down to my finished diameter.
am at 0 0.808 and I had a 0 0.802 bore so I'm going to take 7 thousandths. came out to 802 right on the money it's probably going to be too tight <clears throat> so I'm going to break the corner on that and just test it I'm pretty sure it's going to be too tight though yeah need to take a thousand See if that did it. Yeah, that's a pretty good fit right there. Happy with that. <clears throat> okay, now I'm gonna come in and I'm gonna face this off and I'm gonna come in and clean this this face off and make sure I have a nice clean straight shoulder. Now I'm going to get set up and park that piece up. Okay, and I already have a scribe line on there while I want to cut it off. I'm going to cut down just a good depth and I'm going to take it off the rest of the way with a hacksaw. get this <clears throat> piece of stock out of the lathe. I'm 
and then get that piece in there so I can get it cleaned up. Switch over to my carbide. Okay, now I got my bed all covered up with some rags and I'm going to take that surface rust off with a little sandpaper. Two set screws. Ooh, you heard that fit? That was a pretty good fit. I like that noise. You ready? Here we go. Oh, didn't do it. That's a good fit. You can hear the suction on there. But I'll mill a flat. I'll mill a flat on top of this piece right here just a small one that I can line up with the set screws I'll put in here they'll come down and they'll engage the flat so that you can't twist or turn and they'll hold it in there feels like I gotta clean up something in that hole yeah there's a little little burr in there I'll probably just take some off the back of this and shorten it but I'll put my set screws they'll engage that and then in this piece right here I'll go on center line on the mill and I'll cut a quarter inch wide slot to lay my to lay my high speed steel in it'll set inside of there and then I'll come in the top probably cut a flat and put as many of those set screws in there as I can to come down and engage this bit that way 
and then I'll have to cut this this high speed steel bit so that it'll fit inside my bore and that way when I mount it on here it'll be like so except sunk in and I'll probably tackle that tomorrow be some some mill work coming up thanks for watching